Hello everyone and welcome to Code with Vinay. Today we'll be discussing how to generate a random number between any two given numbers using the math.random method in Java. Note that there is a method nextint in the random class which allows us to achieve the same thing but we won't be using it since the random class is neither in the ICSC nor in the ISC syllabus whereas math.random is in both the ICSC and the ISC syllabus. Before we start, let's take a moment to understand what a random number is. A random number is a number that has no pattern or order and is generated by a process or an algorithm that cannot be predicted. Now, let's get into the details of how to generate a random number in Java. First, let's talk about the math.random method. The math.random method generates a random number between 0.0, .0 and 1.0 every time it is invoked. That is, math.random may return a 0, but it's not going to return a 1. The value returned will be just less than 1. That is, the maximum value returned by math.random will be 0 0.99999, but not exactly 1. In other words, 0 is inclusive and might be returned, but 1 is exclusive and it will never be returned. Now, we need a random number between two given numbers, that is we need a range from some value to some value. So let's say the range is represented by lower bound, that is from which value to upper bound, that is to which value. And let's also assign some values to it so that we can run the program. So we'll say lower bound is equal to 5 and upper bound is equal to 10. That is, for the purpose of this program, I want to generate random numbers between 5 and 10, both inclusive. We don't want a number below 5 and we don't want a number above 10. Next, we want to determine the range of numbers we want to generate a random numbers between. That is, I'll say int range is equal to upper bound minus lower bound plus 1. Now in case you are wondering why we have added 1, that is because we want to include both the lower bound and the upper bound in the range and not simply the difference. Now let us do the most important part of this question. So we'll say int random number is equal to so the our first step is we'll say math.random now this is going to give us a number between 0 and 1 note it will not give 1 and then we'll multiply it by our range so we'll say into range now notice that this will give us a random number between 0 and the range we determined it's not going to give between lower bound and upper bound and for that what we'll do is we'll simply say, say over here plus lower bound now the value which will be returned will be between lower bound and upper bound another thing that we must take into account is that math.random returns a double and what we want is an integer so we'll have to typecast this whole thing into an integer. So we'll just put everything in the brackets and we'll typecast it. Now let us check whether the code is working or not by printing our random number. So we'll say display random number and we'll run the code. So we are getting 10 which is inside our range. Now we'll modify this program to display multiple values so that we can visually inspect whether or not the program is working in all the cases. So for that, I'll take the loop from 1 to 100, i is less than or equal to 100, i++. plus plus, And then the generation and printing part will go within the loop. It's not a good practice to declare a variable within the loop. So we'll move the declaration outside the loop and then I'll remove the declaration from within the loop. I'll reformat the code and in order to see it clearly, we'll print the numbers next to each other. So we'll say a space and then when all the numbers are printed, we'll display a new line. So now if I run this program, I should get 100 random numbers between 5 and 10. Let's work it out. So we'll go and we'll run the program. And there we are, we are getting values, 100 values to be precise within the range. 
and we cannot spot any value which is less than 5 or more than 10. In conclusion, generating a random number between any two given numbers using the math.random method in Java is a simple process. By following the steps we discussed and putting them into practice with the Java code example I provided, you can easily generate random numbers for any range you need. Thank you for joining me in this class and I hope you found this information helpful. See you in the next video. Till then, happy coding. Your feedback is valuable to me. I want to make sure that my videos are clear and helpful. You can follow me on the internet on any one or all of these channels.